In this video, we're going to create user interface for the protected page and user will see protected page only after they successfully sign in. So let me sign in with the test account. Uh, Sergey at kargopolov.com. Again, again, this account does not exist. So don't try to email me at this account. So I will sign in and only if username and password are correct, our application will take us to this protected page. Okay, so we are going to uh, create this one and this load member profile is going to be a button. I can click on it to send HTTP request to my server side and um, load the uh, profile details. I'm displaying just the first and last name uh, as an example. Okay, so I'm going to uh, move my main storyboard a little bit to accommodate uh, some space, hide the bottom panel here and I'm going to use, uh, let's just use view controller, that's simpler. Uh, but I could have also used navigation controller and I have plenty of examples of how to work with navigation controller. So if you go to my Swift developer blog and then under find videos, search for UI navigation controller, um, controller, UI navigation controller, and you should find lots of examples how to uh, disable rotation of um, UI view controller embedded into navigation controller and so on. Uh, there's, uh, if you look at those examples, you will find, I'm pretty sure you'll find something that uh, you need. Okay, so let's go back to this example. I'm going to use a simple view controller but I will need a navigation bar. So I will look for a navigation bar. I'll drop it here, uh, right under the status bar. And it has a title. I will change this title by selecting it. And to change the title, the easiest way is to double click on it. And then um, I will type home. And that will be my uh, title for the uh, home page and I will need a button here for the sign out so I will go back to my objects library and look for button and the button I'm looking this time is going to be a little bit different I'm looking for bar button item so I'll click on that and drop it on the left side here and I will change its title to sign out Okay, so we have sign out button, we have home label, and now we need, this is protected page, we will need to display some of the elements that belong to user, like user profile details, so that we are sure that this page is protected. Okay, so what I need, I need another button. Um, I'll put it at the middle here and only when user clicks on that button, we can load profile details. We can load them automatically when view uh, is about to appear or when view has appeared already, but I want to do it on the button click. So, and I will change the title of this button, load member profile. Uh, okay, uh, and then we need to display um, the profile details of this user. So I will look for the label and I will position it from age to age and that label will display full name and last name. So let me give it a text so that it's visible. I will full name of our user and I'll leave it like this. Now I will reset to suggested constraints. And uh, this is it for uh, our last user interface. This is protected page. This is we have sign in so that user can sign in if they have an account, they can register if they do not have an account. And once they sign in with an account they have created, we can display home page. And that homepage uh, is able to load user details 
if they are authenticated. And once they click on sign out button, uh, the home page will be replaced by sign in page and we will clear the access token and the user ID from the keychain so that we perform complete sign out and mobile application that doesn't know anything about the user uh, that was signed in. Okay, so let's continue. And in my following videos, we will connect all these pages together. We will create outlets for each of the text fields and for each of the action buttons. And we will actually write some Swift code.